In this video I'm taking off the valve covers so I can paint them, installing a new aluminium radiator with a deeper core and a slimline fan. So there's been loads of people leaving comments about how I can't leave the valve covers like this and I was planning on just getting the car up and running first and then make it look a bit more pretty afterwards but I decided to go for it anyway. So these are the props I'll be using to do this, I've never done this before. These actually are plastic uh, valve covers which is a bit unusual, normally they're aluminium. But um, I'm going to use a paint remover to try to get rid of the paint. I believe the one side is a raw plastic, a black plastic, and the other side is painted silver. I'll then be using some uh, degreaser uh, before I spray the primer, the colour, which I'll leave as a surprise, and clear coat on top. Here's the old gaskets that came out of the valve covers and I have a new set to go in after all the painting's done. So this is what it looks like after the paint stripper has been applied and left on for uh, almost an hour. It says to only do it for 10-15 minutes but it didn't seem to be making much of a difference. It only barely came off in some of the areas so obviously it didn't do a good job at all. So uh, I'm just going to um, scotch fry it up and give it something to key, the paint to key into and, uh, and go with that.
So the paint colour is an Alfa Romeo colour and this is why I chose it. It matches the wheels! So I decided to upgrade the radiator because it was 29 years old and I wanted to move to one that had a bit more capacity, a thicker core on it. So the problem is that the anti-roll bar mounting points had to move forward slightly with the Rocketeer uh, subframe. And with the stock fan, um, it basically was fouling against the anti-roll bar. Even when I cut away some of the um, shroud here around the outside on the bottom where it was touching the anti-roll bar, there's just not enough room. So I decided to move to a slimline fan. Uh, I didn't want to go with one of the cheapy eBay specials. Um, I went with a brand name that I knew, which is Spal. So hopefully this will all fit when it goes in. Instead of going with the mounting kits that pass through the radiator fins, which can kind of wear it over time and they're not as reliable really, I decided to go with these ones that slot into the side and they can actually mount to the proper um, mounting bosses on the edges of the radiator. So hopefully this combination works. I just had to throw on the valve covers to see how it looked and while I was at it I might as well put on the inlet manifolds to see how it all fits together. Sexy. Slon, 